Holistic Resource Allocation One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 102 One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 102, February 13th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering with pictures and video all of our team's accomplishments and progress for the last week. If you like more details, more specifics, links, to all the open source content, the tools, tutorials, resources, everything that our team is creating, you can visit our written blog. Uh, last but not least, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, finished another 15% of the Technology and Innovation Molecule graphic, which you can see here. Behind the scenes, we also finished brainstorming the rest of the innovation half of this molecule, and also behind the scenes, we finished the first 10% of the lesson plan with the central theme of civilization. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food added another round of images and minor edits to the new food self-sufficiency transition plan, which is sharing the work of Benjamin Sessions. You can see the new images and edits here, and you can visit the page for all the open source details of remote kitchen construction and food preparation for groups of 20 plus people that we have completed so far. We also researched and added two resource sections to the open source tomatoes hub, the open source radishes hub, and the open source peppers hub. In addition to this, we added the first three amazing vegan recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? And these are now on the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page also, including pictures of the meals as Sandra has been making them along with writing the recipes. What you see here is just the beginning of what will develop into complete weekly vegan menus covering all meals and scalable for feeding groups of people as large as needed. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing Continued laying out the specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture assembly details behind the scenes. This included assembling the different front frame sections, attaching the left and right parts to the front section, and attaching the back frame sides to the wall frame. What you see here is all this behind the scenes work in progress. We estimate we are now 35% complete with what is needed for the website. 
Also behind the scenes, we finished another 10% of the earth dome window and door framing reformatting details needed before moving these specifics to the website. This brings us to 45% complete with this work. We also created these updated renders of the bathroom and kitchenette design for the 150-foot diameter dome for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. And in addition to this, Samuel Soroister, permaculturist and sustainable designer from Green New World, created this schematic of the proposed rainwater catchment plans for updating two of the four toilet domes in the Earth Bag Village. The central tank you see here will use rainwater for washing hands, then reuse the hand-washing gray water to flush the toilets. Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team also finished putting this concept design into CAD for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. The uh, Murphy Bed Dome that you can see here features a fold-down bed, his and hers closet area, and loft. Last but certainly not least, Douglas Sim Stenhouse, architect and watercolor artist, also produced these updated drawings for Pod 3 that will be Cobb and Rammed Earth. This is the ground floor featuring a men's and women's bathroom, shared kitchenette, and large social area and central fireplace. Here is the bedroom level with six rooms that overlook the social area below and share the double bathrooms and showers on this level. Here's a front view showing the maximum use of passive solar and building to conform to the 15% grade. And this is a cross section where you can see specifically see the grade and how the structure is built in to offer beautiful views from the rooms and shared social space, plus the option uh, for a living roof. Last but not least, here's the site plan showing how multiple units like this could be built diagonally on a grade, like you see here, so that they would all maintain their views while also maintaining easy path access from the front and road access from the back. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Rob Jurdy, pool designer and construction expert and owner of Sorco Design and Consulting, created these two plumbing designs for the indoor-outdoor natural pool and eco spa. We've got what looks like one more round of edits and revisions to these, and then we'll add the final versions to the open source pool and spa hub. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created new social media imagery and updated and featured our phases of community building page. This page teaches the four phases of community building from Dr. M. Scott Peck's book, The Different Drum, Community Making and Peace. We also did this for our open source sustainable water heating page that shares all of our research into comparing the different options for water heating in remote off-grid situations. In addition to this, we did another round of updates and additions to our open source tax filing page to share our for-profit and non-profit tax filing process. You can see these additions here, bringing this page to what we'd say is about 30% complete. And we updated our One Community and Helping Create the Venus Project video and also updated the page associated with that video discussing this topic. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One Community's approach to global transformation is holistic resource allocation. What we mean by this is we want to take all the components of a sustainable civilization, a holistic approach to living that addresses and combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability for an evolution of sustainability that is truly sustainable because it meets all aspects of a human, the human experience's needs. 
meaning we combine food, energy, sustainable housing with sustainable education, economics, for not for profit, non profit business creation, true earth stewardship, and fulfilled living. Open sourcing tools, tutorials, resources, and solutions for all of these different components simultaneously because we see them as not only interconnected, but as interdependent. And so we believe that the only solution, if it's truly to be a sustainable solution, is to create a comprehensive, a holistic resource allocation model that looks at that physical sustainability, looks at the emotional sustainability, and combines those two things together into a complete holistic lifestyle. Now we understand that not everybody will agree with us necessarily that this is the way to do things. So our idea is to open source those foundations, to open source the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economics, the fulfilled living model, the true earth stewardship, all of these ideas take all these things and to open source them so that they can be duplicated as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. And our idea is that if we can make that easy enough, if we can make it affordable enough, and if we can demonstrate it as attractive enough, if we can achieve those three goals, then the idea will spread on its own and also to make everything that we do individually duplicable as well so that it builds a foundation for additional sustainability elements, for additional holistic resource allocation components that can be implemented in people's lives if they just want to take a piece of what it is that we're doing and apply it, or if they just want to build a part of what it is that we're creating. Our idea is to provide something for everybody. And so by and to make it so that People that might want to do it differently, that think that they can do it better, that think that they have a, uh, a, an improvement on what it is that we can create, can do that so that we build the foundation, so that we create the beginnings of what's necessary for others to create hundreds if not thousands of different iterations. And this is our whole open source, open, uh, holistic resource allocation philosophy and goal. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, and we can open source everything that it is that we're creating in such a way that it can be duplicated, either as individual components or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, if we can create a self-replicating model, then we have the potential to transform this planet within our lifetime, transforming it into a world that works for everybody. And so we see that the way to accomplish this grand goal is to bring together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, to bring together the people that are thinking globally, to bring together the people that want to create something that can positively impact the lives of everyone and everything living on this planet, to bring us together as a group and to take the tens of thousands of hours that we've invested, continue to develop these open source blueprints, resources, tools, tutorials, everything that we're doing and making it as easy as possible for people to duplicate, to replicate, to modify, so that this idea of holistic resource allocation can spread on its own, begin to touch and impact more and more people, involve more and more people in the open source collaborative process, and to create more and more and more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and content. And to demonstrate it as the actual living environment that will be one community, the place that people can visit and experience everything that it is that we're talking about, experience the holistic lifestyle and the resource allocation and decide if it's something that they would like to duplicate or to take the pieces and modify them and create something even better. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like something that you would like to participate in, we invite you to get involved. We invite you to join our team in the way that works best for you. And there's lots of different ways to do that. You can join us as a partner or consultant that's donating, volunteering their time to helping us evolve different components. You can join us just by sharing our information on the internet. You can join us by becoming a member of the pioneer team, which are the people that will move on to the property and help us build everything that is one community and will host tens of thousands of people annually coming and visiting and experiencing one community. Or you can join us as a satellite member, somebody that would like to build a version of one community somewhere else, or somebody that would just like to be deeply involved with everything that it is that we're creating right now as a part of the core team, but without actually intending to move to the property.
There's lots of ways for people to participate, and we're always looking for collaborators, people that would like to be a part of what it is that we're creating, would like to contribute their own genius, their own skills and resources to make what it is that we're doing better, to contribute uh, your greatness to the team of amazing professionals and elite individuals that we've already brought together that are creating one community. And of course, people always ask, well, what is the, other than joining the team, what is the number one thing that I could do that would help one community? And that number one thing would be to help us get the property that we've been working with now for four years off the market. We're looking for the individual or the group with the resources to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in one community and help us take that property off the market so that we can take everything that we're doing to the next level by sharing the location. The location that we've chosen that is specifically identified to be able to share everything that is one community by inviting people to participate, to come and live on the property, to help do what it is that we are here to do, even before the full infrastructure is built. To be able to bring together people with that highest good consciousness in one place and to take our whole open source creative process and multiply it 50-fold, 100-fold, 1,000-fold. And that would be a process that would accelerate immediately if we could share the location, which we can't do because it's still in the market. And uh, until we take that property off the market, we can't disclose that location, but we get caught questions about it all the time. So that's the number one thing that people could do to help. The number two thing that people could do to help is just to keep sharing our information. We are on all the different social media networks. The biggest one, the one that we are most excited about right now is Sue. But we are also on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Reddit, we are on Tumblr, we are on Pinterest, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share what it is that we're doing. And every single share, every single like helps us get the word out there more. Uh, it strengthens our voice and our sharing within the social media communities and networks. And uh, it could just be the share that introduces what it is that we're doing to that one person or small group that could take our whole project to the next level by helping us get the project off the mark or by helping us get the property off the market. So this is what we're creating. This is our path to holistic resource allocation, not only for ourselves, but for all people to teach humanity a new way to live, a highest good philosophy for helping and creating an open source sharing a model that addresses all aspects of the human experience in a holistic and sustainable way, it combines all of these tools, tutorials, resources, and the model itself in a duplicable teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that can be built anywhere in the world and to create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of these teacher demonstration hubs working together to better our planet, to better living for all life, for all people. This is what we're up to. So thank you for following our progress. Thank you for all the uh, small donations that we get as well. Uh, they help us run. None of our, none of our team are paid um, members. All of us are doing this, donating our time. And so the small donations help a lot because they pay for our web expenses and things like that. Uh, thank you for following our project. Thank you for the emails we get. And, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you again.